Hi everybody, I'm White Feather and I'm standing here in the gallery at Spora Ball uh, in the middle of my exhibition, Salavam. And uh, this is a project that was a year-long collaboration with Dr. Denis Grolo at the University of Sherbrooke. And we worked together uh, with bacteria, um, specifically soil bacteria, as well as bacteria that was isolated from my saliva. Uh, hence the name of the show, Salivam. Uh, and so we extracted enzymes from the bacteria and used those enzymes uh, in a number of uh, projects, but mainly in the end to develop an anti-aging cream. So right now I'm standing beside a biosafety cabinet that was brought from the university, uh, set up here in the gallery, so that people, um, visitors can come into the gallery and actually participate in a scientific experiment using the enzymes that came from my saliva. So there are petri dishes that contain collagen and you are invited to come in and grab a tube of the enzymes and use an inoculation loop and dip it in the enzymes and do a little painting on the collagen. And the enzymes will actually degrade the collagen so that whatever drawing you do will become an etching in the Petri dish. So that's one of the interactive projects that we have here on display. There's another project uh, just to my left. We have the anti-aging cream that I developed in the lab. And there are a series of collagen faces. And these are the faces of Denis, as well as his laboratory technician, Louise, as well as one of his colleagues, Isabel. And so you are invited to come and try some of the cream, rub it on the faces, and see if you can effectively anti-age the collagen faces that are on the shelf. Uh, as well, there are several samples of soil and bacteria so that you can see exactly the materials that we were working with to develop these projects. We also have a plant uh, called Clitoria. And this plant is a really special plant because not only does the plant stimulate the production of new collagen, uh, but it also has anthocyanins. And so the anthocyanins react to pH. And so you'll see uh, we have the plant actually growing under a grow light here. Uh, there are the, dry, the dried flowers from the plant and then the extract that's been used not only in the cream, but as well uh, on display to show the variation in the pH and how it changes color according to the level of acidity. Um, there are also twin videos just behind me. And these videos are sort of displaying the humor that's present in the project. And that humor comes from the fact that I'm spoofing the beauty industry in a way. I'm, I'm trying to showcase the fact that even though I spent months and months with Denis in the lab developing these enzymes and this product, this anti-aging cream, the fact of the matter is that you could effectively have the same result, potentially, by simply letting me lick your face. So one of the videos, which you can't see here now, but it's in behind the first video that you see, I am actually licking someone's face for the entire duration of the video. And she did tell me that after I licked her face, it was tingling and there was some results. So that was my first sort of clinical trial. Um, also, over here on the wall, there are a couple of light boxes that have uh, scanning electron microscopic images of collagen and the specific species of bacteria that we worked with called Bacillus cereus. And these images are really nice for me personally as a textile artist because it shows the structure of collagen which looks remarkably like wool yarn. So it's nice to think about the entire structure of our bodies being a textile object, I guess. And so you can see in the images the bacteria also interacting with the collagen and you can see how it's breaking it down. The bacteria has enzymes on its membrane which detach and attach to the collagen substrate and start to deteriorate it. So this is just a really good close-up look at the process that's happening in the skin cream when you put it on your skin. It's essentially degrading that 
first top layer of dead skin, rejuvenating your complexion, I guess. And then the anthocyanins will build up the new layers of collagen. So this is, in theory, how it should work. Or you could just let me lick your face. Salivam Skin Renewal. So let's give it a try. This is one of the interactive pieces uh, that I mentioned. So as a visitor, you're invited to come in and put on some gloves. You don't need to put on gloves, but you would have to wash your hands afterwards because the cream does contain a very powerful enzyme. So here's the cream. You can see that it's a beautiful blue inside from the anthocyanins. And so we have these three collagen faces. This is Louise, Denis, and Isabel. I think I will anti-age Denis. So I'm just going to apply the cream to his face. And those enzymes should have a slight smoothing effect on the collagen. These are, these are uh, casts that are made of pure collagen. And the interesting thing is that I was thinking a lot about anti-aging products and the way that they're marketed and what the market expects to see, in fact, in terms of language and terminology that's used. And so one of the things that I was careful to include here on the label you have the ingredients, you have the directions for use, but also at the very bottom, I have that it's not tested on animals. And in fact, it's not tested on animals. However, it is tested on collagen, and that collagen is an animal product. So it's tricky wording, and I wanted to sort of inspire critical thinking about what these products actually are. Uh, that was the whole purpose for developing this cream in particular. So here we have light boxes uh, that I built with LEDs and on the light boxes are these beautiful images that were acquired from a scanning electron microscope. So here you have the bacteria and here you have the collagen structure like I mentioned. These images were obtained from a single dish of bacteria that was cultured on collagen that was dried out and plated with gold. So here we have three samples of the gold-plated bacteria. And the reason it's plated with gold is because the scanning electron microscope will shoot the electrons at the samples and the gold will reflect the electrons and give you the image. So these lovely images come from these tiny, tiny little gold-plated bacteria samples that you can see here. So this is probably my favorite piece in the whole show. Um, it's a half hour video and it shows within that half hour some of the laboratory processes that we went through in developing the project and developing the products that came out of the project. Uh, so the, the process of enzyme extraction, bacteria culture, um, filtering and purifying the enzymes, all of these processes are present here. But the reason I love this so much is because Throughout these processes, you see the development of my relationship with Denis and how we learn to work together and how our strategies for collaboration came together to result in this exhibition, ultimately. And it's when you're talking about art science collaboration, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. It depends on the project, it depends on the personalities of the researchers, all of these things, but this was a really, really wonderful collaboration. And you can see that, you know, throughout the duration of the video, um, we're laughing together, we're talking, we're sharing stories, and those things influence the development of the project as well. So this, this is why this piece is so special to me. So this plays here in the gallery during the day and then it's projected out into the window during the evening so that people out on the street can see it as well, which is really nice. So, yeah.